Media, Taming Technology. Hey, this is Fred from Obedia, and today we're going to have a look at Reason uh, and creating our own startup template document. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to boot up Reason. And right out of the box, uh, Reason always opens up with its uh, one of its demo songs, which I'll play a little bit of here. Now this is cool because it shows us, you know, what we can do with Reason. It's got tons and tons of instruments in here, and great examples of what you can do with Reason. Uh, but I don't want to start up with that. I want to start up with my own document. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new one here from the file menu. And then I'm going to go click back on the demo song and just close that up. Okay. And what we've got here is uh, a mixer and this combinator up here. And also the Reason interface. Now I'm going to uh, delete the combinator here because I just want to start out, you know, just fresh. So uh, the first thing I'll need is some drums. So I'll create a doctor, no, how about a, a redrum or a red drum drum computer. And there we go. And you'll see that that just automatically patches in. If you hit your tab key on your keyboard, on your computer keyboard, you'll see it just goes, you can see the back of the rack. And this is the redrum drum machine here. And that gets patched automatically into the mixer. Flip that back around. Make sure I got some sounds in here. I do. It's a good starting point. And the other thing I'll want here is uh, a piano of some kind. So I'll just create an NNXT Advanced Sampler by right-clicking in this blank area and choosing NNXT Advanced Sampler. And it defaults uh, to having a grand piano sound in there. So if I just play a little... Okay, so we've got a piano sound and we've got some basic drums. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually save this and I'm going to name it and I'm going to put it in my reason folder and I'm going to name it default. And I'll name it Fred's default. Okay. Now here's where the magic happens. We're going to go into the edit menu and go to Preferences, and in the general page right here, we've got the default song, which is what Reason will start up with. And I'm going to click on Custom here. That's an old one that I had in there. And I'm going to open up this browser. And I would, if I wasn't here already, I would just click on my Reason folder. And now I have this document in here, Fred's Default, which we just created. I'll click on that. I'll click Open. And now it will open with what we just created every time we boot Reason. So let's see if that works. I'll now quit Reason. So starting fresh, boot up Reason, and there it is. Exactly what we just created. And that's how you create a default template startup document for Reason. Thanks for watching.